the protesters dispersed? They have dispersed. A lot of National Guard are in place on the Capitol grounds and the surrounding grounds, pushing them away. They're no longer near the Capitol, but they are, well, they're, they're nearby. They're not on, no longer on the Capitol grounds. The other development there is that uh, both houses, uh, Nancy Pelosi and Senator Chuck Schumer, said that they intend to resume the count tonight. So it looks like uh, Congress will be resuming the vote count tonight, according to Senator Schumer, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Bernie, any uh, any up any update on people being injured? Uh, apparently, one woman was shot and did die from her injuries, uh, and I'm not exactly sure where that was. I did see footage of someone being removed from the Capitol on a gurney. Mm -hmm. So there was one protester shot and uh, and who has passed away uh, based on the, the shooting. Bernie, what about arrests? Uh, I see that it looks like uh, 16 arrests and eight emergency vehicles have taken people to uh, local hospitals. Um, that is from uh, the mayor of D.C. herself. Mm -hmm. uh, multiple police officers have been injured. I have not heard about uh, how severe the injuries are. Uh, I have seen footage of uh, protesters attacking police and police fighting back. Mm -hmm. Bernie, you live in D.C., right? I live nearby, yes, mm -hmm. not too far. Uh, Bernie, how scary was this? How dangerous was this? How violent was this? Uh, it was very violent and very scary. Mm -hmm. uh, the footage that I see was more than I was uh, fortunate enough to be around because we were sheltered in place. But I could definitely hear a lot of shouting outside of the uh, our gallery, which is directly across from the House chamber. Mm -hmm. I uh, happened to have a relative who's a member of Congress, and uh, her daughter sent me footage of uh, her uh, sheltering in place in the uh, chamber itself in a place where I wouldn't have expected her to be, but she was safe and secure until she could be evacuated. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are circumstances that uh, neither members of Congress nor we, the staff, expect to go through. Right. Uh, there's, I've seen a lot of violence on Capitol Hill in the last 20 years, but none of it has breached the actual um, chambers themselves. So it remains to be seen. Now, and again, I have yet to hear anybody claim responsibility for that. Right, right. Bernie, you were saying that the, the authorities were, were caught flat-footed. They were uh, unaware that this kind of violence might take place. Uh, on whose foot does this fall? Is that the Metro Police or the uh, Capitol Police? Uh, I suppose it's a little bit of both. The Capitol Police were definitely deployed in the areas where they were able to breach. And so, how again, how they got into this area that has been closed down for more than a year, where mm -hmm. the security was sort of lax, it's locked from the inside of the building. We're not allowed to approach the door that they did breach to get in because it's been closed for uh, construction. And again, most recently, because they were setting up for the inauguration, which takes place two weeks two weeks from today. Mm -hmm. um, so I suppose it's uh, this is a Capitol Police circumstance or situation, but the Capitol Police responded as quickly and as effectively as they could. Um, having seen what happened afterwards. I mean, uh, Capitol Police and uh, it looks like Secret Service were able to keep post protesters out of the House chamber. Uh, I have no explanation as to how they got into the uh, Senate chamber or the people's offices. Uh, did I hear that the National Guard have been called or that they have been put on guard? National Guard from Maryland, Virginia, and apparently New Jersey are on site, and I think uh, maybe Pennsylvania as well. They are definitely here. I have seen FBI agents and ATF agents on the ground and in the surrounding area. And uh, I'm looking at footage of people just running into the Capitol building, which never happens. But the National Guard is here. They have surrounded the area, and they've got sort of a, a, a line where they're keeping protesters and whoever, onlookers, mm -hmm. out of the Capitol and out of the Capitol grounds right now. Mm -hmm. Bernie, I switched over to BBC during these protests, and one of the anchors said, I'm shocked that somebody could, could breach the Capitol building so easily. And I'm thinking, Bernie, uh, I wonder if ISIS is watching. I, I, I would wonder how um, uh, organizations, domestic and foreign, are looking at this. I mean, everything that people see on television, people looking at it as a blueprint as to what to do next. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, uh, people do have access to the people's house mm -hmm. uh, until very recently people had access to the White House until measures had to be taken to make sure that they could not uh, enter the White House or harm the White House the way that people have tried to do over the last 20 years particularly. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, the Capitol Visitor Center, people allow to, to, to tour that every day. People are allowed to come see their member of Congress in person, uh, having made an appointment to do so. No one just walks in on the house. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it, there is a lot of fluidity in general, and I think after today, that's going to change drastically. Now, Bernie, for this joint session where they were going to debate over the electoral count, were were citizens allowed to gather and watch the proceedings? If so, how many? Not in this instance. This mm -hmm. is supposed to be something that is particularly just for uh, the members of Congress. Whenever there's a joint session, there's a lot of security in place as to 
maybe sometimes invited guests when there's heads of state or for the State of the Union. But for procedural purposes such as this, uh, there was even a limit to how many members of the press could be in a gallery at that time. Mm-hmm. So, so, the nor- so the normal tours that, uh, that you would get, uh, they were not doing those today? No. Mm-hmm. No. In, in anticipation of this, as you mentioned earlier, there was some violence in town prior, and they knew that there were going to be people here uh, protesting in general. But uh, whatever can happen to reduce the interference with the normal processes or functioning of the government, and the you electoral know, college count, I wouldn't necessarily call it a normal function, but it's not one that's unusual. Right. Uh, but they wanted to make sure that that went um, uninterrupted today and unendured by any outside uh, interruptions or any outside, and it didn't work out that way. I'm talking to Bernie. The, I'm sorry. I'm talking to Bernie Bennett, uh, Salem Radio. Bernie, you mentioned that the count is going to resume sometime later today. Do you have any idea when they're going to start again? According to what I'm saying, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's what uh, uh, an announcement from Senator Schiller uh, mm-hmm. has confirmed. Uh, Senate, uh, sorry, Speaker Pelosi mentioned earlier uh, sent out an announcement earlier that she was going to do it, and um, it seems that it's that they will begin at 8 p.m. Eastern. And I'm just seeing something on CNN, Larry, that. Uh, Twitter has locked President Trump's account. Yeah, we heard. This yeah. started this evening. Yeah. yeah. Now, but, now, uh, when uh, when uh, these uh, protests started, Bernie, my understanding is Ted Cruz was speaking. Does Ted Cruz resume speaking? I believe that he, he will pick up where he left off. Yes, mm-hmm. he was making a point as to whether or not, again, the Arizona delegation, whether or not their their vote should be counted. Both chambers were in two hours of debate over that specifically. Once both chambers get past that matter, and once they make a decision as to whether or not to allow Arizona's vote uh, to be heard, then they will proceed uh, with counting the rest of the uh, electoral college votes. Mm-hmm. Finally, Bernie, I mentioned and, you, you mentioned that no no visitors were allowed. Uh, were members of the media allowed to watch the proceedings as well? Absolutely. Again, mm-hmm. not as many as maybe normally. Right. Uh, but there was a limited amount of us who could go in at any given time, but we absolutely were allowed to be in there. To an audit. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are cameras that are up there. Both the chambers have cameras uh, that are up, so those are the cameras that are used. But uh, members of the radio media, like myself, or print media, could go and give their own impressions as to what they were seeing on the floor. Bernie, thank you so much for checking in with us. We appreciate it. Bernie thank Bennett, Salem Radio. Appreciate it. 888 971 S A G E, 888 971 7243. Trump today spoke very passionately about the election before hundreds of thousands of supporters. I am Larry Elder.